We have to mention two very important Magide Shir. Number one, Reb Tzvi Malmustin, who is, who has a wonderful Chabura and really pushes and shows the Balabatim what it means to get up early in the morning to be Moisa Nefesh for Torah. Also, we'd like to thank Alex Jaffe for his incredible efforts. I must say, on a personal level, that Alex Jaffe was, Baruch Hashem, a, if I can say, a Talmud of mine some seven, eight years ago, who was part of the program that we ran all those years ago. And the biggest nachas that I can get is to see Alex standing up there with a chabura of 50, 60 boys, by showing everybody his enthusiasm for Torah. Tonight is a night where we want people to walk away with the understanding of the chashivas and the great sweetness that we have of Torah. I'm honored to first introduce Rabbi Yeshua Hartman, who we all know well. <clears throat> and the reason why it's important to have Rabbi Hartman here is because Kishmai Kain Hu, heart man, Everything he does, he does it with his, with his lave, kol kule. Somebody who schwitzes for Kalal Yisrael, he gives his effort for Torah. And therefore, it's appropriate that he comes and gives divrei bracha to open up this evening, Rabbi Hartman. Good evening, everyone. Bershus. The Miyas said Rudov and Numan, Bishus, all the outstanding Magide Shir, and more of the Asra here in England, Rabil and Halberstadt. <laughs> Rabbi said, I'm going to be Mitzvah Hashem very, very short. I want to ask you. Don't you have a dream that one day you'll shake hands with the Chofetz Chaim? One day I would like to shake hands with the Vilna Goin and the Maralmi Prague. Is it feasible? Is it Shaykh that we'll be able to have us such a kind of opportunity? I think so. I think it could be done. But there's a prerequisite. And I'll tell you what it is. The Maral of Prague, in all his firm, addresses this point. There was nothing that bothered him more than the Kilkul of Seder Halimut. And every Sefer that he wrote, he spoke about it. Of people, and he has a few complaints of what people are learning then pretty similar to the way we're learning today. But he spoke about Chazara, Chazara, Chazara. And he always quoted the Gemara, which appears three times in Shas, Ashrei Mishabalakan v'talmudoi biyodoi. Speaking about the world to come or the spiritual world, blessed is the one who comes here with his Gemara in his hand. What does it mean his Gemara is in his hand? So the Gemara says in Moyed Cotton, it's through Chazara. Explicitly the Gemara says it. Ahadre le Talmude, the Amat Asher Mishibalakam, the Talmude Biyodai. Black and white, a Gemara in Moyed Cotton, Dav Kavches, that Talmude Biyodai happens only when you do Chazara. Says the Maral, the real scar on Talmud Taira only comes when you do Chazara. And then he adds in the Siva Torah Perik, hey, Ali Alel Datcha, please do not think that you're called Baal Torah if you know how to if you know how to ask good questions. If you have a Gemara in front of you, you can ask good, you can answer good, you could come up with a Lamda Shesvara, maybe that already is enough to warrant you to have the title Baal Torah. Says the Maral, no, that's not called the Baal Torah. 
Al Tomal is the Baal Torah. That's not called a Baal Torah. Because the Torah is not with him. He's a Chacham. She would have a Falpel. But what does he say to him? Baal Torah. Baal Torah means that he knows. And then in another place he writes in the Sefer, the Gemara says that Kodesh Bochu made a covenant on Torah Shabbal Peh, screams out the Maral, V'chikarata Kodesh Bochu briti mashulchan? It's not enough that your shelf knows the Gemara. Today we would say, V'chikarasa Kodesh Bochu brit with the computer? You gotta know the Torah. You have to have the Kenyan of Torah. But here comes the point that he says, Rabbi Isai, and with that I want to finish. What happens when you leave this world with Talmud Biyadai and you got a real Kenyan of Torah? You know Mesechtes, you did proper Chazara, and when you leave this world, you're carrying Torah with you. You know what happens? Says the morale in the drushes. Otam she Talmud Biyadam, ein lehem busha mi la'amod b'mechitzas aneshom ha'sekdoshes. Those who know Gemara, when they go upstairs in the Shemaim, They'll have no shame standing next to holy, holy neshamas, which are totally removed from the goof. Kigam hem kamoisam. If you know Torah, you're also like that. You're considered a spiritual individual, and you will have no shame standing b'mechitzas ha neshamas hakdoshes. Concludes the maral. The rishonim that learned Torah and the rest under galus. Yet they knew it so well. We that we live in our homes and everybody, no one's persecuting us. How much more so, Rabbi Yisai? You want to shake hands with the Chofetz Chaim? No, a few masechtes. I promise you'll be able to do it then. If you don't know a few masechtes, we'll be too embarrassed to stand in the Arba Amis of the Chofetz Chaim. He's too holy. But if you know one masechta, another masechta, and you have a Kenyan of Torah. You are a hundred percent deserving to stand next to these Gdoyli Yisrael, and you will not feel embarrassed because you have also something which is kuloi ruchni. Rabbi Yisai, I want to wish the whole Oilam, especially I want to mention Alex Jaffe. Boch Hashem, I remember I prepared with Alex Jaffe his bar mitzvah drasha. And Boch Hashem today, he's a, ba, he's a, he's a married man, Boch Hashem. And Chazar and Chazar, no of you mesechtes, you will not be embarrassed from anyone. Call to Rabbi Sai, Hatzlocha Gdoila.